you get to a point in your, your life, and I was fairly young for me, that this is what I want to do, it's something I enjoy. It's a passion, it's, it's like anything, you do it because you love to do it. You never want to take on a job because you have to do it. As much as you may need to live from day to day, you've really got to strive for the job that you want to do, that you enjoy doing, that you get up in the morning and go, oh yeah, great, another day. They'll learn a basic broad spread of automotive technologies from suspension, engines, brakes, transmissions, and actually this year they've introduced here a panel beating section, so they learn some more hand skills, measuring and manual skills in reforming metal, welding, so they get quite a range of skills to learn and develop. It gives them credit, but it mainly gives them skills that it gives them a head start for an employment that they probably wouldn't get if they didn't do the course, then they'd be going into an employer cold and the employer's got no idea where they're at. At least having done the course, they can produce either a written reference from the teachers and they get an advantage that they've, they've done sometimes 12 months, sometimes two years. They need basic maths. They may have to work out engine size. They may have to do compression ratios, bore and stroke of an engine to work out its displacement. If they're measuring items, say they're measuring a piston into a bore, and they need to make sure that the, the piston's going to fit or they've machined it correctly. If the motor mower wants an overhaul or as an engine wants rebuilding or their motorbike needs some work done on it, they're more than welcome to bring that in and do some live work. You've got to try it. If, you, if you're thinking about it, try it. You've got nothing to lose. They've got to show us that they're competent in doing it and it's about them learning a skill and it's, they're setting themselves up for their future in their career. Here if you've got the trades incentive, you get to do hands-on experience, build things and create things, repair things. They're hands-on for the tradespeople, can't be beaten. Four or five in the last two years that have continued on through their TEC and are now apprentices in the area. So it gives a good, a good grounding and we can give the employers good feedback on where they're at. If you're thinking about trying the course, I mean, you're never going to know until you try a course. So, or unless you try something. I mean, you can sit back there and say, oh no, it doesn't interest me. But you never know, you might walk in there and we've had, this year especially, we opened up uh, the panel beating segment and a lot of them were hesitant, oh, it wasn't their thing, but it's been our biggest winner this year. They've actually flown at it because it's something new. So until you try something, you don't know.